All right, so this is the virtual open house for 660 Glen Iris Drive, Northeast Unit number 303. I'm gonna take you through and show you a little bit about this home. It's a fantastic property directly across from Pont City Market, across from the east side trail of the Atlanta Beltline, across from Old Fort Worth Park, uh, across from the Kroger Shopping Center where Home Depot and Kroger and PetSmart are all, all are. Um, there are tons and tons of restaurants nearby here, uh, shopping as well. Gems like Forum, uh, of course, the Beltline, which is walkable. You've got two Urban Licks. You've got Sea at Japanese. You've got 1821 Bitters. Uh, there's a fantastic gelato place across the street. Uh, amazing uh, uh, Dancing Goats Coffee directly across the street. And um, uh, City Winery, which is one of Atlanta's greatest little music venues these days. Uh, what's really cool, too, about this particular home is it's extremely well built. Built back in 2001 by Miller Gallman, uh, it was built with basically, as Jerry Miller once told me, no, no expense uh, spared. They put in uh, point and beam construction in this, which means that it's all solid steel and concrete. You'll notice it's got concrete ceilings with border, uh, wood borders on the side of it as well here between the floors. So there's really no sound coming between the floors up and down. You'll notice also right here, it has um, two-sided brick walls, so it's super energy efficient. Uh, you've got An Anderson wood windows and doors here, so they're all super solid, have a long guarantee on them. Uh, it even has refinishable hardwood floors, so if you wanted to change the colors of your floors, you could do that very, very easily without having to tear them out. Like most places who put these pre-finished hardwood floors in these days, um, this one, you can just redo them and make them look beautiful again. Uh, the kitchen uh, opens up to the family room. Uh, everything in there is solid surface, stainless steel appliances, and really top of the line finishes. Look at all these great um, upgraded light fixtures too. The, the cool uh, commercial fan and all the nice additional pieces. This one also has electric blinds that are um, automatic, of course, with the remote control. So they will open up and down by themselves and it's a perfect way to black out your home uh, when you just wanna sleep in. Um, this unit does face to the south, so it doesn't get east or west sun, but it does get a ton of light. Uh, so if you want the light, you can have it. If not, uh, you can put the shades down and, and block it all out. Uh, but it also doesn't get that strong morning sun or that strong afternoon, afternoon heat and sun. It is 935 square feet, um, one bedroom, one bath. Taxes in 2018 were 3496. The elementary school is Hope Hill with the Inman being the middle and Grady being the high school. Um, the HOA dues are only 323 a month and they include a lot of stuff. First of all, it includes Google Fiber, which is about a hundred bucks a month if you had to pay for it on your own. It includes all your water and sewer, and anybody who's paid water and sewer bills here in the city of Atlanta know those will run you about a hundred bucks a month as well. And that's if you're pretty conservative with your water. Um, it also includes exterior fire and liability insurance, exterior maintenance, cleaning crew for the common ground, um, landscaping throughout, and it's very well landscaped, beautifully lushly landscaped, beautiful green and, and purple trees everywhere, uh, just very well kept. There are two dog areas, one that's a fenced in dog run, and then another sort of dog area. And then there's several other spaces around where folks walk their dogs and hang out and enjoy the beautiful community that is all gated and right across the street from Pont City Market. Uh, so there's a lot that is included, that are included in the HOA dues, so it's a really great value. It does have one garage parking space. Um, of course, the roof is, is metal on the top, but it is uh, another unit above this one. Uh, does have central heating and air conditioning. Oh, also the HOA fee does include um, gas for the stove. So your gas, you actually get to cook with a real stove uh, and it's, they're very, very nice. And of course that gas is all included in HOA fee. Um, it does, the kitchen is eat in. It has the great, that great island, which is movable too. So if you didn't want the island, you could just wheel it on out of there. You just unlock it and move, move it right on out of there. Um, it is, of course, a loft building. There are some others that are available for sale in the, in the complex now. Uh, unit 502, which is, I think, 26 square feet larger than this one, is available for um, $349,999. You've got unit 403, which is above this one, uh, for $339,900. But keep in mind, that one does need a lot of work. It needs, the floors need to be totally refinished because they're, they're badly worn and damaged in places. You can see that some really big sunspots. Um, it also does not have custom closets or anything like that. So there are a good bit of differences between that 
that unit and this one as far as condition goes. Um, recent sales includes unit 201, uh, 12 in the Troy Peerless building and unit 317 in the 640 Glen Iris building. That unit 317 is a good bit smaller than this one as well. Um, they don't come along very often, to be honest with you, and they're so well built and so well maintained and the HOA is in such great shape um, that uh, it, it, it's really a very um, unique property uh, and, and very well taken care of, very, very valuable property. And of course, it's in Old Fourth Ward directly across from Pont City Market. I'm going to wheel you through some of the photos for this for the subject property, this one that we're looking at today. Uh, so you can get a little bit better look at it from the inside. Oops, let's go up. All right, so this is the main room. Uh, this is where your living room and such would normally be. Uh, like I said, it does have the two-sided brick walls here. It's got the Anderson wood windows. They've got a lot of upgraded light fixtures in this particular property. Um, and I mentioned the electric shades here. Uh, it has a movable island here in the kitchen. Uh, these are, like I say, refinishable hardwood floors. They're actually in fantastic condition as they are, but if you want to change the color or do something different, that's easily done. Um, it has the Corian countertops in it. Let's take a little bit different look at the kitchen. It does have stainless steel appliances. That refrigerator is fairly new. Um, it does have a microwave vent hood right over there on the left side, and then behind that on the other is the dishwasher. Like I mentioned, it does have gas cooking, so it is a fantastic place to cook. And, uh, and, and the gas is all included in the HOA fee, which is really nice. Um, so I'm going to now take us out to one more angle across the, this is sort of standing in the kitchen as you look out towards the living room, family room, and then of course to the balcony. What's really cool about this balcony is it's a very good size. I think it's about five feet deep and about uh, 14 feet long. It overlooks the saline pool. It, as you can see, plenty of space here for two very good sized chairs, a table, uh, umbrella. And of course, like I say, it overlooks this beautiful saline pool. The saline pool is absolutely amazing to swim in too. You, when you get out of there, you feel so clean and refreshed. It's not like those chlorine pools that'll dry your skin out. And it's so well maintained and always so beautiful. And if you look over here, there's a bunch of great seating areas. So there's always a place in the shade if you'd like one. There's also lots of places that are in the sunshine if you'd like one of those as well. Uh, it's all um, card controlled. So there's only access from the residents and it is a absolutely beautiful and perfect pool right here in the middle of the city. Um, I'm going to flip back here and we're going to look at the kitchen from one other angle before I take you back because I want to kind of show you how the unit lays out. Here's the kitchen, of course, and if you look over here to the left, that's the family room. Now, right here in the middle is where you would normally have a dining room table or an office. Uh, there's plenty of space for a large uh, six or eight person dining room table or a full sized office. Then beyond that, there is an entrance hall to the unit. I'm going to flip you to that side. This is sort of looking back the other way from the entrance hall. You'll notice this unit also has beautiful concrete floors that have the high gloss on them. But as you can see here in the middle where this guitar is here in the middle and then this chair, that's a great space for a dining room or a, an office. Or even if you want to put your TV here and maybe put your dining room and stuff out in the windows, you could do it that way too. Uh, makes a great layout. So you've got a lot of space here. Like I say, you get great light in this home. Uh, but not all the heat that comes with the morning and afternoon sun. Now coming back here from the entrance hall, if we look here to the left, um, right kind of behind us here is the washer and dryer. It is a full size closet with a um, full size washer and dryer side by side in it. You could put a stackable in there easily as well and add some storage, but this place already has a ton of storage in it. If we were to look to the left, we walk into the master bedroom this way and we can see it's got a closet here with the custom closet system in it and up here to the, above it, it also has a lot of extra storage. This over here to the right is the uh, bathroom and then above it is where the HVAC system is. I'm gonna take a, show you a quick look at this closet to show you how much stuff you can pack in here with this, uh, with this closet system. And that closet is completely full and it's, but you would not be able to store even a third of that with the regular closets in here without this closet system being added to it. Um, when you look across the way at the um, bathroom, you have both a tub and shower as well as a, a vanity on the other side that has plenty of room for a makeup area or, or towels or whatever you'd like to put on the right hand side. Um, and it also, if you look at it this way, uh, you can see how long it is. It's got great tile floors too. 
Uh, everything in here is really super solid. Like I said, you got the point and beam construction, you got the two sided brick walls, you got the Anderson wood windows, um, nice solid tiles, um, solid thick floors, solid thick walls. Um, the doors in here, look at these doors, they're all commercial grade. So, so those are super solid. They've even got commercial door handles on them. So very solid. Uh, the barn doors in here, I think you, you probably saw the one when we first came in. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing to go back to it. Maybe not. Oh, there it goes. Um, so I'm gonna we'll find that picture again. Oh, here you go. So these wood doors are, these solid barn, uh, wood barn doors are super heavy duty, uh, commercial grade. You'll notice they have the super solid track on them. So not, it's not one of those cheap ones like you see in houses that they're building today that you can kind of just lift off of the track. That one's not going anywhere. It is super, super solid. Um, so again, we're going to flip back. I'm going to flip back and show you the view from, from the bathroom so you can see how much storage it has. There again is that barn door back towards the entrance hall here. This is the bed. Now keep in mind that is a huge king size bed. Uh, heavy wood, big stuff, and king size, and it still fits in this room with plenty of space. Like I said, you've got plenty of uh, closet stuff in here or storage space in the closet as well because it does have the custom closet shelving in it. And then there's this whole area up here and we left that open on purpose so you could see how much storage there is up there uh, because that's such a valuable thing in condominiums. Um, storage is very, very hard to come by. Uh, like I said, this unit is 935 square feet, but the location too is probably is equally as important, if not more. Uh, because of where it is. It is directly across the street from Pont City Market. See, there's Pont City Market, um, directly across the street from the whole, the whole Foods and the Home Depot, which is here. That brand new Kroger that they put in here is right there. Um, you've got two Urban Licks here. Uh, of course, right here in Old Fort Ford Historic Park. You've got a great green space up on the top, and then also you have this lower lake that has a beautiful amphitheater on it. Really, really cool. Um, and, and you know, the entrance here to Glen Iris Loss, everything here is just so green and so lush and so well maintained and taken care of that it's just a pleasure every time you pull inside the gate. Like I say, across the street from the happening Pont City Market where you find City Winery and Sea of Japanese and uh, uh, Pancake Social and the rooftop deck at Pont City Market, which is amazing. Um, you can even see the entrance there where it says roof. They take you up on this really big freight elevator. It's so much fun. I mean, it's like it's like an it's like an adventure. It's almost like you you ended up at Disneyland. Um, and of course, across the street is the Beltline Trail, and uh, you've got uh, Old Fourth Ward Park. I mean, there's just so much available in this area to do. I'm gonna flip back here and we're gonna look at the side-by-side -side comparisons of the other units that have sold as well as what else is available. You have another one, like I say, unit 502, which is, uh, what is that, 25 square feet larger. It's priced 349,999. You've got one above it that needs a lot of work. This price at 339, 339,000. And I would estimate this unit needs about $15,000 worth of work to be comparable with the, uh, the one that uh, we're showing you today. Now you recently had another unit, unit 201, that sold for $375,000, and it is 1,047 square feet. So it's a little bit larger uh, than the one we're looking at today, but look at the price difference, 375. So this is a really great value. Now here's another one at 650 Glen Iris Drive, that's unit number 12, uh, that was 910 square, square feet that sold for $333,000. So it's a little bit smaller, uh, has a little bit different look. Um, and of course, it's a lot of its bones are 1920. So it's a little, it's a good bit less energy efficient. Um, and uh, the finishes, while they're really cool, uh, aren't quite as solid as what you find at Glen Iris Loss. And this unit 317 was a little bit smaller. Um, it, it sold for 300 and $15,000, but in square footage, it is 684. So it's 200 and something square feet smaller than the one that you're looking at today. So you can see this one is priced really, really well. It's, an, it's a great value for the property. Uh, the taxes are relatively low versus the neighborhood. Look at this one here, it's $5,400. Whereas the one that you're looking at today is 3,496. Um, of course that one, with the one I'm showing you, the number I'm showing you today is 2018. Um, it is a loft, of course. You've got one parking space that's inside the garage. Um, the floors are all refinishable hardwood floors. It does have the gas, and but everything else is electric and very energy efficient. Hope Hill Elementary, Inman Middle School, and Grady High School. 
So let's take a look too, if we'll flip through this, I'm gonna kind of show you how prices do here in the neighborhood. Um, the low price is 319,900. The average price is 343,380. Um, the median price is 339,000. And then the high price is 375,000. Now keep in mind, these are all one bedrooms. Um, the typical days on the market is 42. Uh, and if you look at them and how the price are, really your higher price units are selling really, really quickly. Um, in this market. Uh, so this one is a great value and in the perfect position for that. Uh, if you look at this and talk about price versus size, as, as no surprise, as you get to a bigger unit, it gets a little bit more expensive and ours is priced extremely well for this market. Um, we always like to look at Zestimate and believe it or not, Zestimate is pretty darn close with, uh, with the prices on these units. Um, so you can actually trust them. Usually we can't trust them so much, but, but they come out pretty good when it comes to these units um, because they are so consistent and so solid and so easy to tell what their values are. It really is a very beneficial uh, situation. When you figure out the, uh, based on the square footage, the unit price on this uh, sales price should be 341,000. It is priced at 335,000 though. So it is like I say, a very, very good value. Um, so that concludes this P portion of the tour. Um, if you have any questions, of course, uh, make them in the comments, send them to me. I'm happy to answer those anytime. Thank you. And we will be going back through this in just a few minutes and look at these again, if you'd like to see it again.